Cooper Island, British Virgin Islands. This was the scene as we started off the morning hours of our Wednesday. You can see a pretty good breeze out there, some cloud cover, but for the most part, not seeing too much in the way of active weather, even with a little bit of a trough kind of lingering about the region. The rain chance is not overly impressive these next few days. We do see a pretty good storm is out there in the open waters of the Caribbean. You see this big white area. Yes, that is a large cloud and there's definitely some rain showers and thunderstorms associated with that too. Expecting to see an increase of showers and storms down through Central America. We do have small craft advisories too. You saw how uh, kind of biting that wind was on our webcam and that has led to some larger uh, swells out there as as well as some hazardous boating conditions east of St. Croix, north of St. Thomas and St. John. Future cash showcasing more of that high pressure in place as we continue into our Thursday afternoon and evening. Decent sunshine here throughout much of the Lesser Antilles. A few showers possible for us. Better chance lies off to the west. Honduras, uh, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. All seeing a little bit of that. Much of the greater Antilles staying dry too as we continue into our Saturday, Sunday. Improving weather picture in terms of our end. 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday. A few of those showers trying to push into the region here. Decent sunshine Thursday afternoon and heading for our Thursday evening. Not really a whole lot going on here for the most part. Future cast as we head for the afternoon hours of Thursday. Rainfall amounts a little bit higher off to the west into Puerto Rico, but likely not seeing over a quarter of an inch of rain, even if we do get a couple of those downpours trying to push into the region. Winds coming from the east are typical easterly winds and not seeing a whole lot of variation with them. They're expected to die down a bit, and that's why we're seeing that uh, small craft advisor kind of coming to an end. But nonetheless, a little bit more wind heading into our Friday. You see the wave heights as a result. Thursday afternoon, a lot more deeper shade of blue, and that does mean we'll be seeing less of those marine hazards out there. Still some deeper shade or lighter shades further off to the east, so a decent amount of wave action there, but common for this time of year. A little bit more wave action as we start into the weekend. Not quite sure if we'll really reach that small craft advisory criteria, though. 85, 87, St. Thomas, St. Croix, plenty of sunshine here as we continue for our Thursday. Maybe a couple of rain showers earlier on in the morning, but I think everyone will really see more sun as we head for the second half of the day. We're up towards 29 Celsius, 84, 85 Fahrenheit continuing into the afternoon. Right to our five day forecast. Rain chances a little bit elevated for both Thursday as well as Friday. We're up towards 86 degrees. Then as we head for Saturday, Sunday, some changes behind our trough that swings through. Temperatures a little bit cooler, but we're trading in those showers with more in the way of sunshine. Sunday, a couple more clouds out there, but we're quiet to start off next week. 82 degrees, so temperatures slowly going down, but the good news is our sunshine chances continuously going up heading into the weekend. I do really love sunshine, especially on Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, we can enjoy it here, and we'll have more of it for the weekend. There we go.